Walter and Eddie, back in the 90s, I was hosting uh, um, uh, Dick Clark's Rockin' New Year's Eve. So I get there, you tape it in October, and it airs on New Year's Eve. So I get there in October, I'm in the dressing room, I'm walking down the hallway, and I see the OJs on the door. I've been knowing these dudes, the kids for years. I go in the dressing room, we hugging, you on the show? We hugging. This dude right here, he come up to me, he say, Steve, remember me? I looked at him, I said, Bink? <laughs> Listen to me. When the last member of the OJs passed, this dude, me and him grew up one block apart. Oh. I grew up on 112, Bink grew up on 111. We used to ride bikes together. Oh. He was singing all the high school talent shows in Winnow. I ain't seen him since high school. Oh, man. I walk in OJ dressing room, I say, what the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> he said, Steve. I'm one of the OJs. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Let that so. <laughs> Y'all was there. Me and Beak was standing in that dressing room. I just started crying. I couldn't believe the dude was over. We just stood there crying and hugging. That was the first time I saw him since that. He an OJ. These dudes right here. Man, y'all still got it, man. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Walter, Eddie. Y'all been touring together, man. How many years? About 56. 56. Do you hear me talking much? 56. <laughs> and still got it. They, st they voices, they still sang, man.